Hi guys, welcome to part 7 of Angular 7 for Absolute Beginners by Tech Tech Tips in 2019. In today's video tutorial, we will be talking about TypeScript, that what is TypeScript, how can we use TypeScript and what is the purpose of using TypeScript inside Angular 7. So without any if and buts, let's get into the tutorial. So the first question came into the mind that what is TypeScript? So the answer to this uh, question is TypeScript is a free and open source programming language developed and maintained by Microsoft. So it is a programming language which is developed by and maintained by Microsoft. It is also a superset of JavaScript and what is a superset? It means that you write code in another format and then it will automatically compile it for you in its standard JavaScript code. You don't need to exactly type the JavaScript but you will write JavaScript in a different format and it will convert it to browser readable JavaScript format. And it is a fully object oriented programming with the features like classes, interfaces and modules. So in TypeScript it is a fully object oriented programming structure or programming with features we can create classes, we can create interfaces as well as we can create modules. TypeScript also support ECMAScript and uses arrow function syntax which is ES6 format of writing functions. TypeScript also compiles to plain JavaScript. It means that TypeScript cannot be directly read by the browsers. So it has to be converted to standard JavaScript code and TypeScript when you install it, we will see how can we install it. After installing it, it when you create a TypeScript file, it will convert it to your standard JavaScript format. So this is a short definition and introduction of what is TypeScript. So let's see how can we use TypeScript standalone and then we will see how TypeScript works in uh, Angular 7. When we installed Angular 7 CLI in the first tutorial, TypeScript is also installed with that Angular 7 and also we can install TypeScript separately using a node package manager which is called npm. So how to install it locally, globally sorry, I mean on your local computer, how to install it on a local computer globally. So just you need to go to your uh, command prompt and if I type a ng version, it will show me that the current version of Angular CLI is 7.3.0-rc0 and it also shows me that the TypeScript version 3.0 2.2 it has been installed if it does not show you that TypeScript is installed you can install it by using npm install minus g and then you simply need to type TypeScript at the rate latest and it will install TypeScript version at the latest version because I am on Mac operating system so if you are on Mac or you are on Linux then you have to type sudo in the start for Windows user, you don't need to install sudo, simply you need to install npm install minus g typescript at latest and hit the enter. It will ask me for the password. So I will enter the password of my machine and then it will start working and installing typescript globally. So as I have already installed it so that it won't take too much time and will configure it automatically on this machine. So let's wait a minute and then we will see that TypeScript version in, is installed and then we can verify it by writing another command. So you can see here it is showing me that TypeScript at the rate 3.3.1 is globally installed but with Angular CLI the TypeScript version is 3.2.2. So this version is installed with TypeScript and this version is installed globally on your machine. I can verify it by writing TSC. TSC stands for TypeScript minus minus version or minus v you can write it so that 3.3.1 has been installed successfully. We have successfully installed TypeScript version 3.3.1 which is a current version of TypeScript. So let's see how can we use it and what are the features of TypeScript. So as in my introduction as I mentioned that already that TypeScript is fully object oriented programming and it uses classes, interfaces and modules features like any other programming language and then it will compile it to the, your native JavaScript because our browser does not understand the TypeScript so it has to be compiled to a native JavaScript code and TypeScript will do it automatically or you have to create a configuration files which then automatically read and change the file to JavaScript as you make changes. But in this video tutorial we will be doing simple examples of TypeScript and then converting them into native JavaScript code. So let's see 
I will create, I will go to the desktop and then I will create a folder uh, type script toots and then I will navigate it to it and then I will open it in my Visual Studio code. Here we have in the TypeScript, I mean folder. After that, you have to create a new file. For example, I will call it index.ts file and then you can see a ts automatically shown by the VS code that this is a TypeScript file and this is this VS code officially support TypeScript. So suppose I will write here console.log hello from TypeScript. Yes, you can write any standard JavaScript code inside TypeScript, but still your browser won't understand this type of file TypeScript. So this line has to be compiled into JavaScript code. So I will open the built-in terminal of the VS code and then type tsc index.ts. Simply writing this and pressing the enter, it will convert this ts file into a js file and you see the equivalent code. You see there is no much difference in this code and I will just use this button on the right top right side and here I have opened the ts file and I will open here js file on one panel and I, will, I have opened ts file on the left panel and the js file on the right panel. So as I compile the file it will show you the js standard version here. So in TypeScript we can create variables just like when we create variable in JavaScript but using ECMAScript like ES6. So suppose if I do let a is equal to 100, let b is equal to 200, const c is equal to a plus b, console.log c. So this is the simplest example of TypeScript where I've created two variables with the values a is equal to 100 and b is equal to 200. And let is the ES6 keyword to define variables. So I will save it and after that I will come to the terminal and type tsc index and then it will compile this code into javascript as you can see here it is saying var a is equal to 10 var b is equal to 200 and then var c because in es uh, older ES before es5 you don't have this let and the const keywords you have var keyword to create variables so that is what it's showing here but of course if i write node index dot js it will work and show me the exact result of 300 so this is how you create variables inside TypeScript. Furthermore, you can do like this, let a string, let b number, let c boolean. It means you can define the data type of any variable which you, want, you cannot do in standard JavaScript. If I compile this code again, you see it is omitting this colon string, colon number, colon boolean, but it is defining those variables and successfully it is converted from TS script to JS script. So these are the changes which has been done that we can define the data type. So now if I say A is equal to 100, it will start complaining like type 100 is not assignable to type string, mean it's no com complaining to me that this is 100 is a number and you are assigning a number to a string which is not possible you can't do that so that is why where TypeScript come more important and it that is the one most common reason why it is used with angular 7